You may think you know the story about Don Lemon, but you actually have no idea just how far back his diva-like behavior goes. Nikki Haley is in her prime, sorry. The men's team makes more money. Here. If they make more money, then they should get more Here's money. You're That's sitting what here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm what it's like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you. On the inside, his behavior was being called into question. Oh, Don Lemon over at CNN is doing it again. <laughs> sparking more accusations of sexism. What is it with this guy? As you may have heard yesterday, CNN parted ways with anchor Don Lemon. Don Lemon's scandalous saga begins right now. Don Lemon was born and raised in Louisiana. He was the son of a prominent attorney, except he didn't even know his father's identity until he was five years old. He started doing what's called the local market hop in broadcast. He made his way around different networks in smaller cities before landing in Chicago and then eventually making his way to New York. Don Lemon's first big break was when he co-hosted a show with Kyra Phillips on CNN called Live from New York, Atlanta, wherever the hell they are. There was a rumor or a report that he actually was really jealous of her when she got sent overseas to Iraq. When he found out she was there, he allegedly went over to her desk and started tearing up papers, making a scene, flipping out. And then further, she claimed she received anonymous text messages threatening her, claiming this isn't over, you've crossed a line. Now, CNN launched an investigation into it and they did find that these messages came from Don Lemon's phone. A CNN insider told the Post that Don claimed that he never sent those text messages and that he was never informed of an investigation. <laughs> right. He was actually demoted, so to speak. He was moved off of that daily show onto the weekends, which anyone knows if you're in broadcast journalism <laughs> is a severe demotion. Don Lemon's behavior kept getting worse and worse and he soon unleashed his weirdo fury on Soledad O'Brien. Leave her alone. In 2008, Soledad O'Brien lands a hosting job on CNN's docu-series Black in America, and supposedly that pissed off Don Lemon. On an editorial call, he said O'Brien wasn't black. For the record, she's Afro-Cuban, and also, shut the f up, Don Lemon. Now, they had, as a group, collectively discussed her Afro-Cuban roots, and now in response to that, Soledad actually came out and released a statement saying that him saying dumb things doesn't shock her. 10 years ago, in 2013, he further went on to just say even more controversial things, such as saying that the black community would be better if men started picking up their pants. Walking around with your ass and your underwear showing is not okay. He started talking about how you could tell which men were tops and bottoms in jail based on who was wearing their pants that way. And then it evolved into which role a prisoner would have during male-on-male -male prison sex. The one with the really low pants is a submissive one. You get my point? And that sparked so much backlash. <laughs> So much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African-American family. He's got a point. A woman named Goldie Taylor, who was a popular correspondent at the time, she appeared frequently on the network as a commentator, called him out over this incident. Goldie claimed she was basically banned from the network and got no response from them. And Don also claims he had no idea about any of them. Right. They basically ghosted her. Harsh. But she still today believes that it was because she called out a black man and said furthermore that now these days, his ire was once directed towards the black community, but now it's directed towards women. As he was growing more famous, his behavior behind the scenes continued to worsen. At one point, he was even alleged to have called a female producer fat to her face. Don was also caught mocking Nancy Grace, who at the time was one of CNN's top talents. A lot of people felt that it was jealousy who was getting more airtime, but other people felt that it was more sexist in its nature. Now, in response to the Variety story that detailed Don Lemon's history of sexism and just rage and diva-like behavior, Nancy Grace didn't comment but a source close to her actually responded by saying that she believes he's an ass and of course doesn't like him. 
When Don was making a name for himself, it's no coincidence that this was during the Jeff Zucker era when he was leading the network. The two were buddy buddies, and a lot of people believe that Zucker was trying to smooth over everything that Don was doing behind the scenes or in front of the cameras. With Jeff Zucker as his partner, nothing stood in his way. He was becoming a bigger name for himself when the network featured him interviewing Donald Trump, and Donald Trump blasted him. It only made him a bigger name in the news. When CNN was launching its CNN Plus, he was promised a weekly talk show that would put him in the forefront of the streaming platform. That sort of comes to an end when Zucker himself gets ousted for his inappropriate relationship with Alison Gallus, who also worked for the network as a spokeswoman. That sort of buddy-buddy system was gone as Chris Licht took over. Slick has his eyes on Don Lemon. He's been monitoring his behavior, there's been a lot of backlash, and he's now the guy responsible for sort of handling this talent. Unfortunately, as we now know, CNN Plus immediately crashed and burned. Morning! That's usually how we just, we just say morning. He was placed on a morning show with Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins, which eventually started souring because behind the scenes, he didn't love working with them. It looked like he was actually starting to lose his temper more and more, especially when Caitlin Collins interrupted him on air. We're standing by for the ten, president of the United States. It's been 10 months since she's been, been held in captivity. 8.30 um, this morning. Our, the Worldwide Resources, Frederick Plykin and others are on the ground there and we're gonna continue to follow. He flipped out behind the scenes, screaming at her that she stole his thunder, so much so that she ran to the higher ups to complain and he was told to leave set. He he came back and continued to make outrageous comments like a female presidential nominee not being in her prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime, sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? Despite apologizing for his comments, he didn't stop them. In April 2023, Variety publishes their expose on Don Lemon and whew, hard to make lemonade out of this one. So the article basically exposed how Don Lemon over the past 17 years had rampant diva-like behavior, mistreating his coworkers and underlings. Not a good look. Unfortunately, Variety's expose seemed to be the nail in his coffin and he was fired. This is CNN Breaking News. As you may have heard yesterday, CNN parted ways with anchor Don Lemon. In a statement, CNN CEO Chris Licht thanked Don for his contributions over the past 17 years. He tweeted that he found out he was fired from the network from his manager. CNN then turned around and said that he actually was offered a sit down and instead chose to issue a tweet but it was a little janky. <laughs> but he has stepped out. He was at a time dinner where he gave interviews. He walked the red carpet and told Page Six that he was gonna be hitting the beach this summer. What are your plans for you right now? I'm gonna enjoy my summer, spend it on the beach, and have a great time. Which is a far cry from the rumors that he's lawyered up to sue CNN potentially. He's also obviously gunning for his money if he actually follows through with this lawsuit. It's unclear right now what he's working on. Fans are wondering where he'll land next, if anywhere at all. I will say though that karma seems to be going in Caitlin Collins' favor because CNN just announced at their upfronts that she's sort of the new Don Lemon. She's getting her own show. She's about to be the face of the network, but we'll just have to wait and see where he lands next. I mean, anything really is open for him except for CNN. Anyone hiring a journalist? I may not be on CNN, but I'm still a journalist. Yeah, I didn't think so.